Because Lola has become a voice of the community. Lola has represented the homeless and the hungry, and her very heart and her very motivation is to do just that thing. So we're so excited to call her friend, to call her sister, and to have this time together to tell you a little bit about her. For seven years, Lola has operated Queen Nubia and Lola's restaurant. But I went there and I went, oh wow, this is good food. And then I learned something else about Lola. Everyone that came in the front door, they paid. And Lola took that money and everyone that couldn't pay came to the back door. And she gave away food and money and other things to support the community. Everything that Lola has and does is to honor God and honor people. And so that's why she's here and that's why we're here. I know a lot of people that use a lot of words. I don't know many that do like the way that Lola does. What got me started doing what I'm doing is that I got, I grew up with this. I grew up all my life with, you know, barely making it. And I got sick and tired of it, and I wanted to make a difference. Where when I was reading in the Bible, majority of the Bible spoke of the poor, and we need to reach out and give back. So I seen this little old lady. She was about 63, 64 years old. She had been pet rat herself out of her own house, and I thank God that she was sleeping on the porch, and she had been sleeping on the for porch for what I understand about six years. So I thought the people was telling me it was a big cat. I didn't know it was really a human being living that kind of life. Yeah, she was an old lady. She had sores all over her body. She was just a mess. And the people were barely bringing her a little food to eat. It was, and she was living on her porch, buried underneath her furniture and all kind of stuff to keep her warm in the winter. And it was just sad. And when I seen that, I said, this is it. I said, there's too much funding going around that nobody is trying to help this one lady. And I stepped in, and I, and I said, God, make the difference. And God told me what steps to take, and I promised to God I did everything. I took the steps that God said, and the lady house got remodeled. She got put back into her house. She got put into the hospital. Things just came together where the doctor wound up being a friend of a friend of mine, and we put in a nursing home until we got her house in order. She came back. She left in a wheelchair, and she came back walking because I see so many other people that are struggling and having a hard time and they just don't know and life, they think life has failed them but life haven't done any of us anything. It's what we are doing to the life that we're living and it's time for us all that can make a difference to make a difference. Well, I, I, I don't think it's me that's being recognized. I think it's the God that's on the inside of me that's really being recognized. 